strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this for the longest haul, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo. Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's a Thursday night, and it's our very, very special Vino and Voices episode, which is always one of my personal favorites. So we have so much fun, and we have so much in store for you tonight that I'm happy that you're here and joining us. Uh, take a moment. You can share. I don't know if you realize this, but if you see this live feed right now, you can share it, and your friends and family family can watch it right along with us. So a couple things that uh, we are going to take some callers. So get in line. That is 323-992-3115. 323-992-3115. And uh, we've got a lot to talk about tonight. But one of the things that is so exciting is I published a new book this past week. Woohoo! And yes, thank you. And it hit uh, very surprisingly, it, it hit quite a few number one bestseller lists. So I was very, very excited and happy about that. Couldn't believe it. So it was really, really fun. There's been a lot of support around that. So that's been really cool. And uh, for anyone on the East Coast, if you can make it to New York right outside of Buffalo, I'm going to be in Lilydale. It is like the spiritual Mecca of the United States. I'm going to be there I'm teaching two workshops on Saturday the 31st, Intro to Intuition and Platform uh, Demonstration. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Last year we had a great, great time. So if you're in New York, can get to New York. Whatever you can do, it's a weekend. So you can come join me. It's a long weekend, I believe, for a lot of people. So come and hang out. It's going to be amazing there. So those are kind of a couple big things, but uh, there's so much to go into. But I don't want to wait too long before I bring in my gal pal friend, super power or activate uh, amazing I mean, you all know who she is you've seen her uh, she comes in once a month it's our favorite episode we have laughter we do the readings we have a great time she's uh, getting busier and busier so oh we, we've got to lock down these dates far in advance and uh, but I am happy to have her in the studio tonight you know how amazing she is intuitive medium Jennifer Schaefer Yay. thank Yay. you for having me Thank you, thank you. Yes, how are you? I'm doing fabulous. I'm doing really well. Thank you, Colby. We had a busy week last week. We sure did. <laughs> Every time I think it's going to not be as busy, it's wrong. It gets busy, <laughs> right? It gets yeah. busy. Good, we though. had a lot to do. So, um, And there's so much. Uh, well, actually, you came to the event with Lisa and myself. By the way, that was so amazing to watch you guys you know on stage you really knocked it out of the park especially you know when certain mem audience members didn't really know yeah they always got it like eventually they always got it yeah you guys we, were we amazing a, thank to you watch. it was really really was very, fun i was like in the, i was in the audience such a proud like like friend <laughs> colleague like yes <laughs> <laughs> I could feel I could feel you and Michelle. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Well, what people don't know is that you know what? If you do well, that just makes it better for us. us yeah. People don't get that. Yeah. Like you should honor anybody that's crazy enough to do this to work. To get into this. <laughs> yeah. We got actually a photo with you at the meet and greet we did. So it is. <laughs> there you go. That is our oh, meet and greet. That there is. you go. Yep. Um, we had a great time though. We had a lot of fun. It was. Yeah. It was really it was entertaining. It was a fun night. That we got to hang out a little bit after, so yeah. that was really good. Uh, then we had a great weekend with Lisa taking it on her bachelorette party. There's our unicorn Super hat. fun. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Colby, look at the way. Everybody thought I did that. Uh -uh. You are the I one, did the unicorn. The mastermind. She was the mastermind behind all of it, and we had... So much fun. We really did have fun. Lisa got to do karaoke. She sure and, did. Yeah, it was a, we had a good, good we time. We all did. We all did. A lot it. of very fun videos yes. floating around. Yeah, yes. Some, some are not disclosed, but yes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, wasn't it a great weekend? It really was. fun. It was. It was a great group. Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, very it was, nice. It was very nice. And I love celebrating our friend. Yeah, yeah. You know? She deserves very it. Very exciting. She's always out there helping everybody else. So it's nice always. she got a little love for 
herself. She did, and you did it. Yeah. Oh, you cheers. Were the yes, here we cheers. go. Cheers, cheers, everybody. Cheers. All right, there we go. So, a um, couple things. You were recently... Um, Oh, I, I left it at home, but you were recently at the airport uh, all over all <laughs> the TVs. There's a screenshot there. We, I, yes. I grabbed the screenshot of it. <laughs> yeah, that is so me. So what is this for? Okay, so I was interviewed by Marta Bloom, and it is for all the, so all the TVs that are in airports, most of them, in all the major airports, and the hotels, they have, they actually have feed that goes in there, and part of it is, you know, Hollywood celebrities, you know, secrets. And she had me on to interview me. And it goes like constantly for 30 days, 100 times a day. Wow. <laughs> in every that's airport. Great. So people are like taking pictures, like, look yeah. at who's on TV. But it's just, again, it was a, it was actually a great experience. Um, they're an amazing couple and they really know how to navigate and make, they're like, you don't have to prove anything. You've already done that with us. Just kind so of relax and just enjoy. relax. And he, he was just like you. It, there is an art to interviewing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People don't realize that. Yeah. To make someone calm when they're scared. Yeah. <laughs> there's an art for that. <laughs> so my hat, it was an amazing experience. That's funny. Yeah. No, that. it's great. I, I, I mean, how wonderful, right? It is. So it very is. exciting. And uh, so now you're going to be in Lilydale as well. Yeehaw! Yay. Yes, yes. We have a uh, we have a wedding to attend to. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a great time. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I bet and you it's going to be a lot of dancing. I'm I'm almost positive. One of our friends. <laughs> I have to tell you this is you know I don't know if you know Donna. I think you know of Donna if you haven't met her. She's uh -huh. a, you know of the summit, um, and she's a good friend of Lisa. She's in the wedding, and oh, I'm yeah. there and. Um, so she's got her daughter and I believe her daughter is like 11 or 12. She's, mm -hmm. so she says to me, Colby, can I, you know, when I go up to do the ceremony stuff, my responsibilities, can you just keep an eye on, uh, my daughter for me, Olivia? <laughs> yeah, sure. I said, so like now I'm assuming I'm not allowed to like give her alcohol. Is that right? You're like no alcohol. No alcohol. <laughs> okay, okay. And then I, I, I also thought um, I probably shouldn't let her like run off with <laughs> young boys, right? We're not supposed to do or that. Or older. Or older. Okay. In case she's into the older. Um, <laughs> all right. And so I was just trying to make sure I understood oh my these gosh, this responsibilities. Is so funny. <laughs> and then she says, um, I'm not going to be leaving with you long. So <laughs> <laughs> you're like, how long is your, yeah. how long is your uh, toast? Oh, what am I, what am I committing to? Like, what is this relationship? How long am I babysitting? <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Let's go shopping. <laughs> treat, treat her like the squirrel. Okay, Just give her okay. a little like, food. Oh, She'll be fine. Like She'll stand. be fine. Yeah, that's like good. look at look at those people dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, fine. cool. I can do this. <laughs> I I I can handle this. Should I accept my what is it? Should I accept the mission? Is that <laughs> you what they should say? Should accept the mission? Yes, absolutely. Everyone and anyone should get a photo of me and a kid. This is going to be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> now she's actually really wonderful. She's super cool, sweet. That's and she so loves funny. to. She loves to shop so we're gonna get yeah. along just fine you'll, you'll be great no but it, it was it, that she, is funny donna's looking like um no no you can't let her drink <laughs> okay just checking <laughs> i shouldn't teach her bad words either right no no colby okay just checking <laughs> oh don't leave me with goodness, your kid that's so funny <laughs> like ever ever <laughs> I'll, I'll return her with like six puppies oh it's gonna be so much oh did you did you want a hamster? Sure. Here you go. Know. Do you want a thousand piece Lego set? <laughs> yeah. Someone actually gave that to Jack for his birthday. And I'm really? like, are you guys just mean? You oh, my goodness. Mean. Yeah. See? <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, it's funny. you know, we've got also your own court. Your own courts is always selling out. But we right. we got the flyer here because um, we always know that it's selling out. The Medium Monday. People love this Medium Monday's wine and it spirit. It is so much fun for me. They added a new date for September 30th okay, that good. night. Okay, good. Good. And we've added, we're doing it like every other month, possibly two times because there's such, it's, it's just fun. You come yeah, you out, have a good time. two hours with me and you get a glass of wine and it's something to do in LA on a Monday night. 
Listen, unless and you're watching football. I, well, I was just going to say, I you're know. really lucky because how many women are so tired of, you know, their husbands at home <laughs> watching Monday night football that now they get something to do on a Monday night. And it's fun. It's going to be fabulous. It's great. Thank I'm going to be watching the Monday night football. But I know you are. You know, I love my I Eagles. Know, I know that. My grandma would it. disown me if I didn't watch <laughs> the Eagles. She, maybe maybe I'll make sure that it's not on the schedule. Yeah. You, like I you won't work that check. Monday. Mm-hmm. That you do Eagles have to check. Check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's probably going to comment, well, it's this date at this time. Because <laughs> honestly, if you do it, she might just learn it you from too. <laughs> right. And she loves exactly. you. Grandma uh, Grandma loves you. Hey, my mom loves you. Oh, Goes right we around. love your mom. Your she's mo- so funny. She's love so you, mom. Real quick, I, I do have to point out because she's so adorable. <laughs> Wait, she... Uh, she made some comments on some posts, right? And then I saw her say, where'd my post go? Where'd my comment go? Um, that comment was on a different post, Mom. <laughs> but that's okay. We got them all. We didn't delete any. <laughs> that's funny. Isn't it cute? That is so cute. I know. Cute. She's adorable. I love her. We love her. We do. So, anyhow, you, okay. you know, you've got a lot going on. You're your schedule's packed. I know you're, yep. you're, you're even, uh, real quick too. And I saw on your face, everyone, you know, just go to her Facebook page, right? you you know, we always tell you, but, uh, you've got your new banner, which is your wine and spirits reading yep. experience, yes. which is so fun. It's, you know, it is fun. And it's, it's wine, water, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I try what I've learned is to give an experience just like yeah. you do. Yeah. With readings, we make it fun. Yeah, and so I realized that a lot of people would go over next door and they would drink, and so I'm like, well, I'll just offer it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, so uh, we are going to take some callers on air, everybody. That number is three two three nine nine two three one one five. You, there are listen. I, I say oh, the wow. rules every time, and you then you break again. them, and then I have to put you on hold or drop your call. <laughs> um, I have boundaries. So here we go. The <laughs> rules. No speakerphone. There is a delay. If you're a, that, thank you, Jennifer. If there's a, if you're listening to the show, you can hear it whether you're watching it or listening. Make sure it, it, you put it on pause or silent mute it in case your area code is called so you can pay attention okay no profanity uh no barking dogs no growling husbands let's just keep it all civil and clean here also uh just let us know what is your question right what area of your life what is it about if it's a loved one uh who is that loved one jennifer likes a name so just give us the name of that loved one and that's it um and and then we are gonna we are gonna do it from there, right? Yep. We're gonna do it from there. So you have uh, September thirtieth is the next. We're giving you yes. time to get. We're give, I'm yeah. gonna give you a minute. Look how nice I am. I'm giving you a minute to follow all the rules. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, but if there's anything else coming up, Jen, or um, I, you know what. There's other things that are coming up in, in the, the works, pipeline. In the pipeline, but okay. I, of course, can't discuss it. Not, not yet. Not yet. But you will. I will. But yeah. So September. The first one is September sold out, but the second one is September 30th. Oh, good. So date. people can so, still get. Yes, there's still some spots left for September. Okay, 30th. good. Okay, good, good, good. Yep. So good. All right. Well, here we here we go. We are gonna take some callers on air. We got a lot of callers here. Uh, let us start with uh, number thirteen five. Five one eight. Hey, five one eight. You're on the air. Oh, hi. Hi Hello. there. Who is this? Uh, my name is Susan. Hi, Susan. How you doing? I'm I'm doing okay. Okay. Um, I just wanted to know, and I'll I'll keep it short for you. I just wanted to know if you could sense um, who might be trying to reach out to me. Okay, got it. Do you, I felt go a man ahead. right away, yeah, so but did, I, but did you? Ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Susan, would you would you understand a father being in spirit for you, sweetheart? Um, grandfather. Okay. Would you understand him having a big role in your life, or because uh, th- this man to me makes me feel like uh, this is someone you would have spent a lot of time with, someone who would have been close to you. Is that correct around this particular grandfather? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Because to me, right away, I heard it was him. Um, 
I also heard he can be noisy in the house. He's not so subtle all the time because I, um, do, is that right? You feel him in your house. Isn't that right? Or he is in the house. Do you recognize he's in the house? <laughs> um, he is around me all the time. Yeah. Yep. He's been, he's been, he's been in spirit for a very long time, but yeah. he's but, been very, he's been very, um, in my face lately yeah that's the right way to say it and and i hear a lot of like the one thing i keep hearing over and is keys rattling so i'm not sure if you can hear either keys or coins rattling as well or if there's a connection to that but he keeps making me feel like he always either had keys on himself or or coins because they're rattling when he walks is there something with can i i'm sorry is there something with disneyland too i saw shoes something Um, with shoes something to do with your mother and possibly no, Dorothy. no, no. But but he, there was no doubt of his presence. Whether it, I mean, no keys rattling, no coins, but uh, it, he he had a very deep, booming voice, which was um very it, it, part of his presence. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I, I keep. I, I'm, I'm not gonna let go of these keys or coins. <laughs> I want you to igno- like know that sound, and that sound is okay. around you. Like either it's something that you've done where you've been rattling your keys, and he's acknowledging it, or something. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it with you. But if it kind of jars yeah. your memory, then just kind of uh, let us know and bring it forward. Okay. Just leave it in the okay. comment. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I know he's rattling keys because he just keeps telling me, like, you're in a transition, uh, letting me know that th- you, you're at a decision. There's a decision coming up for you. And I feel like he's been there a lot more because I feel like the keys are trying to get your attention. And so maybe that's the, where I'm getting Disneyland and Dorothy. Hear me out. Like, where is home? Clicking her heels. Like, where is home kind of thing. Yeah. Or if there's something with Kansas. <laughs> Um, but I feel like he's, uh, no. <laughs> he's definitely around you. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's definitely him, but I also feel like this is, uh, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. is it bothering you that he's around? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. I, I, I okay. wish more than anything that he was a part of my life now so that my husband and sons could know him because he was an incredible man yeah oh, that's yeah amazing yeah it, he just he makes me feel like um definitely a little bit of that bigger than life i think he smelled good or at least he thinks he smelled good <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> character he was, yeah because he makes me feel like he, he was, smelled good and put together you know um but oh yes he I, was he was yeah, he was all that. Okay, and then is there a John that you can connect to, uh, either in the living or in spirit? And it could be a middle name, remember. But I keep I heard the name John as well pop in here. Um, no, no, not at all. Hmm. Not no, no, not at all. All right, Susan. I mean, I I could tell you his name, but um, you know, it was and he's been gone for quite a while. But yeah. I had a recent loss that I was kind of wondering if that spirit was trying to come through too it did this felt like a grandfather this felt like the father figure to me yeah it doesn't feel like the more recent one um but more of that transition more of that phase through for you yeah 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 no he's been on my on my mind and in my heart and in my presence a lot lately yeah even though he's been gone a long time yeah he's definitely letting you know that it's him that he's around and just that kind of bear hug right that kind of reassurance to let you know he's there because again you just feel like you're in a place of transition or change at the moment so i feel like he's just stepping in to kind of offer that level of support for you as well okay is your mother still here I'm sorry. Say is, that your, again? is your mother still here? Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, she's eighty-eight she's... and a half. She's still here. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Wow. Okay, good. All right. All right, Susan. Well, thank you so much. Just know that it is your grandfather. Um, pay attention to those keys, and if that name John comes in, that you can connect to someone in the living or in spirit. Uh, you just put it in those comments. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Have a good night. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. 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 Um, all right. There we go. Right? Yeah. I, when I So the Disneyland part, of, it could have associated to something else.
But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Go. Well, I it know. could sometimes too. I know. You know, it's the sitter connecting the dots, right? And I know. you use Dorothy, but maybe it's Minnie, or you know, who's to say, <laughs> right? Um, I saw some red shoes. <laughs> there you go. All right. What is that? There you go. It is red shoes. All right. How about uh, how about six one four? Okay, 614, you're on the air with Jennifer and Colby. Who is this? Hi, this is Charlotte. Hey, Hi, Charlotte. Charlotte. How you doing? Hello. I'm good. I followed all the rules and I got through. You are Yay. too. Loud. You see how that happens? <laughs> Sounds so clear. Spirit, we love spirit it. Is, uh, congr- <laughs> spirit is uh, rewarding you. <laughs> what can we yeah, do for well, you tonight? I do well with direction, too. Um, <laughs> well, um, I have a question about my career. Okay, good. Um so I just went through a life change. My daughter started college, only child, and I'm really looking forward to, you know, moving forward and, um, you know, stepping out into my true self. Yeah. But I'm just kind of, I don't know if I'm stuck or if I'm just like, I mean, she just went yesterday and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Why am I not doing anything today? Like, you know, get uh, in there and do it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Hey, give yourself the time, though, to just kind of grieve that, Okay. But you feel like you have a lot. Yeah. Of, you have a lot on your plate. Irrespective of that, you have a lot that you yeah. want to do, and that's where you get you feel stuck. Yeah. You don't know where to go. So I see all these little jumbled mm-hmm. roads when you just have to. I feel from what I'm getting is that if you just kind of relax and allow it to kind of show mm-hmm. up for you and trust it, because you were given something. I think mm-hmm. this started. I had, I don't know. I was getting December. Like you had things that were that were percolating that when she went away that you would start doing, correct? That's correct. Okay, and then <clears throat> I've some... been doing it for a couple of years, trying to prepare myself, but yeah. now I'm just ready to bust out. Yeah, yeah, antsy. You got ants in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but you know the thing too, yeah. Charlotte. Just you, you know, Jennifer is one hundred percent right. You you know there, you got to grieve this process a little bit, right? Give yourself yeah. some space. Uh-huh. Um, but the other thing too is don't stall too much because I think it was all such a good idea and then now you have to step forward so I believe there's a little part of you going Mm -hmm. oh my gosh I maybe I'm not ready (laughs) maybe I can't do this um right so I know and and I also what's interesting I actually wrote down for you a change in career so I believe you're going to be doing something different I believe you're actually going to be stretching out in a little bit of a different direction I would recommend this for you Charlotte I I I definitely, like without a doubt, feel like you need to be interacting with people. So when you do look for this job, Mm -hmm. I think it's very important for you to be in a position of either hospitality, Mm -hmm. customer service, something where you're able to... Event planning. Yeah, well, yeah. (laughs) Something where you're in a position to put yourself out there to mingle with people. Okay. And it could be what you know. It could be be what you know, but just looking different. Yeah, what were you planning on doing, sweetheart? Well, um, for the past two years, I've stepped out to be a medium. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, then you're going to be working to. with people. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So, yeah. 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 And I feel totally alive when I do group or when I'm in front yeah. of other people. Isn't that amazing? But I just don't. I don't have those connections. I don't like. So I'm. I'm trying to put myself out there and almost like go on foot, face to face. Like, hey, you know. Yeah. Do you like me? And it's just. It's one of the, I don't know, uh, kind of like what's holding me back from Fear. That. No, fear is holding yourself, you back. It took us years. I'm saying us. It took me years to get over my fear of doing this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You just uh-huh. really, as Colby said in her books, like surrender. Like you just have to surrender to the process because it's the only thing that's going to allow information uh-huh. to come through. Yeah. I think if you're going to do okay. this, the thing with this, Charlotte, um, uh-huh. You got, there's, I mean, the, gosh, listen, I wrote a whole book on it. Um, That's why I said <laughs> and, that. And, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and there, there's certain things that you got to do 
in order to build that kind of, if you're going to, it depends on what you want. If you really want an actual business or do you want a hobby that you really enjoy and make money at and can make some extra, there, there is a difference, you know? Mm. Um, oh, yeah. But essentially, you know, essentially it, you're going to have to work outside your comfort zone. Uh, it, you know, I believe mm -hmm. it does have to be on social media. You know, right. you can, <laughs> everyone needs to know what Charlotte does, you know, everyone, friends, family. Yeah. And you like astrology as well correct um you know what i really haven't taken an interest in astrology why did i, I astrology really haven't taken you? an interest oh, i don't know why um so oh. i'm you know i'm an aries and i don't fit oh, the mold of aries and i'm just kind of like <laughs> yeah out. yeah yeah I, so. I got signs and dates it's funny but i i think you know again uh -huh. this idea of working with people um like we were talking about uh, -huh. uh Stepping uh -huh. outside that comfort zone. I, I, again, this to me is just fear. And maybe, you okay. know, the idea is, you know, just to say, you know, maybe the idea too is, you know, I mean, not to plug myself, but, you know, I offer that coaching. And I, you yeah. might need some actual oh, coaching because I, I don't know if you actually know the steps. So, so I think you're a little confused on how do I do. I know I want to do this, but I'm not quite sure the steps to take. And maybe that's part of yeah. it too. I've taken, um, I actually uh, did my development with uh, um, Lisa Nolan, who did Lisa Williams' class, yeah. her master teacher class. Right, right. Um, so I did one with her, and then I've done some online stuff, and, I, you know, I study, um, you know, I, I listen to the steps, and, and yep. I do go through, and then... If it, with me, it's kind of like not technical. It's just like word vomit. It just starts coming out. <laughs> it's what? I'm sorry? So... It's like a word vomit. Everything just starts coming out. And so I do know the steps, but then everything just takes over me. And I just kind of like just let the information come through. Yeah, um, I think. Are you talking about sometimes... readings, though, Charlotte? I'm sorry? Are you talking about your readings, honey? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. That because that's not the issue. Oh. The issue is mm -mm. you're not doing the business steps to put yourself out there. There's actual business steps, and I think that right. that's where the training needs to come in or read some business Got books. It. Yeah, and then that's gonna because yeah, it's not about whether or not you can read and how great it is, but no. it really is about yeah. mm -hmm. uh, what do I do to to make this a business for myself, and and what are those right, steps? Right. And I think that that's just what it okay. is, and you got to kind of shed that fear and take those steps and move yourself forward right Jim mm -hmm. it takes a lot yeah it is it the job does not go away yeah so you're gonna do amazing Charlotte don't you even worry about All right. it okay All right. okay thanks ladies and have a good evening you got you this too. all right Charlotte. okay, okay. <laughs> thank bye, you bye-bye bye-bye uh -huh. you know it's hard Jen you remember what it's like you know when we first oh, started yeah. getting out there and doing yeah. it and it's in it's interesting. I just didn't look into it far enough. You know, when I say astrology, of course, that yeah. could mean, you know, somebody that uses something as a tool yeah. to do readings it or could whatever. Be anything. But that's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. All right. So how about we got so many callers in queue. How about uh, let's do 310. That's a local here. Number nine, 310. All right. Here we go. 310. Hello. You're on the air. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Colby. Hi. <laughs> Who is this? My name is Michelle. Michelle, Hi, you're Michelle. a good girl. I saw you rushing. I could feel you <laughs> rushing to hit all the pauses and the mutes. You're a good girl. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> what can we do for you tonight, honey? What do you see um, coming on next summer in June? Um, in the last week under Upset, I signed a lease where I've lived for the past five years. It's a privately owned condo. Um, and I'm the owner's first tenant ever. Uh, every year he increases my rent astronomically, but he kind of outdid himself this year. Huh. And um, I went out and I, I looked at places um, and I talked to realtors and um, a realtor got on the MLS and he did a spreadsheet and no one has paid as much as I am in my community um, what I just signed for September 1st. So I signed a short lease that ends on June uh, 1st because we're going to have some construction in my community. And um I'm wondering if you see a move or if you see uh, anything happening next summer okay. because I'm thinking about leaving California. There's no uh, rent yeah. control in Santa Monica? There is rent control, but that's big Oh, maybe because it's, it's a like, townhome. No, I am. I'm 310 cell phone, but I actually live in Orange County. Okay. Uh, I actually saw you saying just... I, before you said that you were trying to get out of town, I saw you just going somewhere that you've never been before. 
But this is really disconcerting, and I'm so sorry that you're going through this. Well, maybe it's spirit pushing her out. I'm pretty sure you're right, <laughs> Colby. Where's she going, Jim? I don't know. I I think it was a projection. I'm like, go out of the country. Oh, <laughs> ship ship Michelle out. <laughs> but I, I also felt the East Coast. So. Oh really? I yeah. Okay. A bit, okay. A little bit. Yeah. Because that's out of her comfort I've zone. I've never too. been to the East Coast. I know it's out of your comfort zone. Well, it's cold. That's what it is, Michelle. It's cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was getting Florida though. It's not always cold. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I like Florida. That's See? true. That's true. See, um, I was getting a little Colorado. I don't know why Colorado. Maybe well, it's the mountains, but I was getting that. a little bit of a Colorado kind of or that area kind of a feel. Yeah, yeah, but it, it kind of feels like a, a fresh start is needed, uh, Michelle, and also about like romance. <laughs> so it kind of feels like having a fresh start. Uh, out of California, definitely. So you think I should? Uh, well, um, not that start we should. To move and, in not, June. I see you looking to move. I can't tell you yeah. you should look to move, right? Because that's your decision to make. But I do I saw feel San Diego too. Did you? Yeah. I yeah, I, I feel that. like. I feel like there's something with her that's just done with California. Like, I, you know, I don't know if it's really. Is, are you born here? Is this, or did you move here? No, um, I moved out of state uh, from university to California when I was 23, and I've been here about 20 years. But yeah. the last few years have been really hard. Well, I'm sorry, Michelle. Yeah, um, but is there also an end of a relationship too? Or I keep getting relationship around you. What is that about, sweetheart? Uh, no, there's not relationship. Was there, though, uh, in the last two years? No. Huh. There's something about relationships. So it could be coming in for you, but I also feel like, to me, this is about, I feel like you need to kind of get out before, um, it's almost like you're holding on to scars here. Do you know what I'm saying? So it almost feels like if you get out, you get it, you get to kind of start over. But I keep seeing Rome. I just keep seeing relationship I come I in. I do too. And I felt, but I felt something south. But she's saying that she's in Orange County. Orange County is kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't mean to say this to all the Orange County it's, people, please. And I have clients there. I'm yeah, not saying there you that. Go. I am it's just. A, it's a beautiful place, but the is. people are a little bit different. They are different. They're very structured. They're very. They don't. I'm not going to almost sound like I'm talking politics. Um, I feel that you need a place that you could just. And I agree with you, like Seattle or Colorado. Yeah, like somewhere that just feels that like. Just feels like you can just be yourself and more in nature like more of <laughs> right. that kind of surroundings of like real life real people nature that sort of thing do you know what i'm saying yes do you see the coast of oregon at all for me i did, I just said I did. Oregon, I just... but there's not very many people there well this is the thing so portland as from what i've just learned from a very good friend of mine is very expensive now but there's different little, like little pockets, but I yeah. think Portland. That's what Colby was saying. She saw you like with the mountains, mountains and the ocean, yeah. and you know, I feel that it was something that you would love, and you'll have the chance to meet someone. Like the the one thing about like yeah. Orange County, or uh, it's very structured with kids, family, work, whatever. And if you're not like into that right now, <laughs> I think another place, another opportunity for you. Would be connecting to nature, just like Colby said. Yeah, I, completely I think it's about agree. getting I, back to life yeah. and writing too. I I believe maybe think about writing, sweetheart. Okay. Okay. All right. You've got this. This will be a blip on the screen. Yeah, Michelle. Yeah, it will. You know, and and I think sometimes those real tough periods. Um, I you actually, know, sometimes they're they're really meant to pull you in a different direction. Honestly, I okay? actually feel that you might be able to break your lease in November. Wow, okay. There's something about know. that. This guy sounds like he's vicious, though. Yeah, but there's something going around. <laughs> there's know. something going around. I know. I'm just saying, there might be a possibility. But he is going to take her deposit. Okay. You left a deposit, didn't you, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. He's when gonna, I first uh, signed. You're not even going to get that. I, even if you fulfill that lease, this guy is going to try to take Some that deposit. So take... I just want you, you're going to have to fight that, okay? Yeah. Okay. You, you got, got this. I, I, I know. Yeah, you You've got, got this. this. I yeah. wish you could see what I see. I, and I, I do believe that move is going to bring in that relationship. So much. 
much. I think yeah. it might happen even before or she might. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got this, honey. Okay. Okay. Thank Tr you so trust much. Trust your intuition. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye, Michelle. Okay. How about uh, 949 number seven? That's Orange County. I'm gonna get oh, yelled now out. we're back in Orange County. <laughs> Orange County's, your stock just plummeted in Orange County, Jennifer. I love Orange County. But mm. That's not it. It's a okay. short. Yes. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> who Hi. Is Hi, who is this? Hi, my name is Grace. Hi, Grace. How are Grace? you? I'm doing okay. Um, I have a question really in regards to career. Okay. And, um, and did yeah, you I'm say, not sure how specific you guys want me to Did you questions. say that your name was Grace? Yes. Okay. What's Which your question yeah. specifically? Um, I got a job offer and I am hesitant as to whether or not to actually commit with um taking the new job even though i kind of already said yes but i have <laughs> not yet does it have the to, current job does, and does it have to do with the owners of the new job or the owners of the the job you're in uh the reason that i'm leaving no the reason or, why so the job that you want to go to does it have anything to do with the ownership uh -huh. of that your employers or um like the reason i'm hesitant yes or, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's part of the reason. Okay. Is it also about hours? Like, is it, uh, is this like a nine to five or just something where it's kind of hour, uh, something like that more, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, regimented. Is um, it a more regimented position? Right. Yeah. It's a, it's a full-time position, yeah. which is something different than what I'm doing. It's a currently. lot more yeah. responsibility. See, cause a I, lot more. I wrote down nine to five. I, I yeah. think that that's the glitch here, honey. I'm, oh, I'm not so sure you're a nine to five kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you're needing more freedom. Yeah. I'm, I think you're going to feel, listen, if you kind of want to try it and do it, but I don't think it's going to last real long. I think you're going to feel real smothered. And I, I think that there's something about the clipping your wings a bit that, that doesn't, that maybe, and that's why you're hesitating as well. Jen, what do you get? Um, I, so yeah, well, before, oh, you say, before you say anything, what I'm getting is that um, the new job is great, but you have to really make, you have to really set what you want and what you need to succeed there up front. Okay. 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 Um, what is the new okay. job? Is it? Um, it's a marketing position, and mm -hmm. it's in a different industry that I've never really been in before. Um, and I'm just kind of weary of getting pigeonholed in an industry and or just afraid that it's going to not – that I'm just not going to like it and yeah. I'm going to want to leave after a year. I, I just don't. Something. I don't think yeah, – I've got to be honest. I don't think you're going to like it. I don't I, think I, so either. I don't think you're going to like what you're doing. But do you like <laughs> what you're doing right now? Um, not really. No, no. I've, I've just been like trying to search for new jobs. I just don't know if this is the one, um, that I should go for, or if I should keep looking, but I know I don't want to stay doing with what this I'm doing. This feels very boring. You're going to be bored, Grace. What are you, what are you really? selling here? What's the marketing? It's not tech or anything weird like that, is it? What is it? It's for a cannabis company, actually. It's for uh, uh, construct grow rooms, and then eventually they're going to market products. Yeah, I just don't think you're gonna. But well, listen, I'm only giving you insight on it. It's just what I get. Um, I, I think I, they don't know what's going. They're that, disorganized. They're very disorganized. But that industry is. There's yeah. so much going on with that industry. But it's a great industry if you get into it in the beginning. Dealing, you know. But mm -hmm. if. If you are not someone that understands the product or you don't like the, that's going to be an issue with you. If you aren't comfortable saying what you're doing with marketing, you shouldn't do it. Or even, pa I believe she even needs to be a little passionate. See, listen, Grace, here's the deal. I don't, I just, okay. the thing is, uh, you know, because we've got just a few minutes here. I don't want you selling yourself mm -hmm. out. I know you want the job. I know you want to get out of your current job. But w why kind of get out of one job you don't like and you're already lukewarm about the new job? You think that that's going to turn around? You know what it's like? It's like dating a guy who you think is, <laughs> ah, ah. 
he's a he's all right and you think you're gonna fall madly in love with him and there's gonna be fireworks no there's right. not there's not it's not gonna happen ever all you're gonna do is maybe get a nice little comfy relationship so with this you might it might be comfortable and it might be challenging and you are definitely learn some stuff you're not gonna like it you're not gonna like what you're selling you're not gonna feel good about it so this is up to you I, it, it, you know if you have an opportunity. I mean, believe in yourself and you can probably get a position that you're going to enjoy a bit more. But, but you know, you're going to take a risk here. You're obviously going to take a risk. Or right. you or you can take it Ugh. and in three months you hate it and then you're going to say, wow, that Jennifer and Colby are right. Now let me go look again. And you can do that too. You, like, you can totally do that. Right. Yeah. But is that what you're getting psychically yeah. in terms of me not enjoying it? Or yeah. just like kind of what I'm no, I don't think you're going to like it. I'm telling you. I don't think you're going to mm. like it. Because when I'm tuning in, this isn't about fear. So normally when I tune in, I can tell if it's fear, like with what, Charlotte? Right. Charlotte's right. just about fear, right? Putting it out right. there. You're, you, this uh -huh. isn't fear for right. you. This is like, I don't think you're 100% passionate about what this is. Yeah, and at this stage of the game, you want to be passionate about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And I yeah. understand about security. Yeah. I get that too. But... If you're not yeah. passionate, put the but pros and cons list together and figure that out that way. You can always try it. You can all, I mean, listen, you, right. you accepted it. Might as well try it. Right. Well, I haven't quite quit my current job. So, because I was kind of so, I, I was still considering it, even though I, you know, I accepted it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, because my, <laughs> right. my fear is that I accept it and I hate it. And then there's no going back. Um, but, but it doesn't yeah, but even okay. if you okay real quick here and then we gotta go okay but even listen okay. even if look look at it this way baby doll y you don't want to be in your current job anyway right all right you don't you, you so either way you're going to be looking so you you either take this job and try it and see what you feel and then you're in the position to look uh -huh. a few months down the line or you're going to be stuck looking uh -huh. again. You, you're not giving up the gem here. You, you don't right. love I, your current Yeah, job. I feel like you should actually try this job and figure out what you like and don't like. And then you might want to go to something else. Yeah. Okay. Okay? All right. All well, right. thank you for the, for the help and the insight. Yeah, you're welcome. you're welcome. You're welcome. Good luck. And it's okay. Listen, All even right. if you take it and you don't like it, you're going to learn a lot. Don't worry about that part. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Well, because I'm... Mostly taking it just because of the, like, the abilities, the skills I would gain. But yeah. I don't know if that's even a good reason, a good enough reason to take it. So well, as long as you know why more. you're taking it. Treat um, it as a class. Yeah. Learning. Yeah. Yeah. I see you're working with something a little more fun. My, I mean, not, not that I, people would definitely argue about the funness of well, that. No, a lot of kind of stuff doesn't have to do with I the, think it's a lot about it being more creative, her working with more creative. Um, and like teens. Well, that's what I There's something with like teens and everything else. More. Oh, go ahead. What? That's what you thought, sweetheart. What? You, you would. Oh, oh I, I thought that in doing this job, I actually would have a lot of creative um, freedom in doing the job. Which is also why I'm attracted to it. Um, I thought I would be able to be really creative in it, but I don't know if it's sounding like that's the case. Yeah. Just based off of what you guys are saying. There's so many rules and guidelines within that industry. It would it is a great right. it is creative, but I think um, your passion pursuit would be like Colby said, probably best guided somewhere else. Yeah. But you can learn from this. Listen, right. uh, my right. my absolute prediction. I'm I'm calling it out here, Grace. Here's the deal. I don't uh -huh. think you're gonna like it. I do not feel like you are. So if you stay there for one year, and after one year you're loving it, you're absolutely passionate about it. Colby's gonna owe me a million uh -huh. dollars. No, I'm not gonna owe you a million dollars. Uh, but I, uh, you know, because I can always be wrong. Uh, I can. I can always be wrong. So, Clearly, I was for um, several. Right. But follow yours and follow your heart on this but i i don't i i just don't think you're gonna like it that's it we hate, gotta go sorry grace say, colby's always good right. luck okay. okay all right bye bye honey all right thank you mm -hmm. bye. All right. bye i know she hated to hear it but it's the truth so there don't call if you don't want the truth right <laughs> I, I because i i don't i don't think she's gonna like this i don't think well, i don't no, think it is what not, she thinks it is okay, so this is the thing and i agree with you with all because i saw the things that could happen mm -hmm. she has to understand the industry first 
because you, if you're not okay with saying what the industry is, I thought it was a porn industry that she was dealing <laughs> with, with the way that I felt the vibrate, yeah. whatever, that's yeah, not bad yeah. too. But if you're not in love with it, and it, again, when I went into this industry, it was challenging. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. But, yeah, I believe you are absolutely right, Colby. I, I, she's unsure, and, and so you have to kind of go by her own doubt, her own right. uncertainty. But this but I also said it's fear. not that it's a downplay from her job that she doesn't yeah. like anyway. Yeah, I, she's not going to lose out as she takes it. She's just going to hate it. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> she might learn a lot. She might learn how frustrated she can be at work. All right, so here we go. How about 601? This is the last call, and we only have a couple minutes here, okay? 601, you are on the air with Jennifer and Colby. Hi. Um, thank you for taking my phone call. Yes, and you got through. Congrats. I What's your name? Lacey. Hi, Lacey. Hi. I am calling. Hi. How are you? Good, honey. Good. What, what, what can we help you with, baby? I am confused as to what I should be doing, like what my purpose is, Aww. and what career path I should be going to. Um, I dropped out of college because I just it just did not feel right okay. at the time, and I feel like I should be doing music. And since then, I've been trying to do music, and it's been very hard and very difficult. And I don't know if I'm on the right path or not. So I don't know if I'm crazy or what. I just need some guidance and some answers. Okay. Well, the thing about the music, you can't look at that struggle as it's saying it's not right for you. I mean, those those kind of, I mean, in all fairness, any kind of right. career like that, it is such a level of commitment and passion behind it. Like, you, you got to get dogged, like you, gritty. Yeah. I feel like you can teach it. I feel like there's kids around you. I feel like there's a lot of things around you. Right, Lacey? Kids? You said? Not kids, not your own kids, but I feel like you could teach music. I don't really have that type of, you know, yeah. background in music. Like, I don't, I don't know. You Are know, you a no, singer, Lacey? Yeah, she's a performer. What'd you say? You're a singer, honey? Yes. I, yeah, I and also, I just don't feel like you've been doing, I don't think you've been, I don't feel, I just keep hearing she hasn't been doing it long enough, or she hasn't been in it long enough. How, how long you been trying to make it in music? I really quit. I quit my job this year to yeah. okay. do it. And it's like I've just been doing everything on my own. I'm reaching out to people. They don't want to help me. And it's just been very, very difficult. And I don't know if it's not supposed to happen or what. Lacey, it hasn't been enough time. Kids. Uh, it's not, listen. Here's a couple things. You know, and that's the panic of quitting your job. No offense, Lacey, but that's the panic of quitting your job too soon, right? And and that happens in all businesses. I tell all my students that because um, you're gonna need that income, and then when you don't have it, you start to panic and start to question, right? So, in all fairness and on, I would definitely recommend just getting a part time job that has some flexibility. You're gonna need that. That money is gonna give you some peace of mind. Okay. I I don't feel like you should give up on this music no. i just feel like you can't yeah you can't you, i just feel like you got to get a little more i, I just got you got to get a little more street smart about it and a little more like you're playing too nice like i think you got to get in there and you got to hustle clubs you got to get in there and get on stage i mean like i i really think i you got it in you i mean you're you're a little growly little thing uh you know so just imagine a relationship <laughs> where the person's really made you mad that's the attitude i think you need going into these clubs saying listen i'm getting up on that stage tonight what time would you like me here later like i, I really feel like you're not bringing that fight to it like you're almost tapping out before you've really even given this a chance what do you think jim i think that too i i just feel like she's not i feel like she's really good at it but she's afraid of it yeah yeah it's right you think that i have potential so you think that i have potential I yeah. think that you have potential. I think you can write. So when I see music coming in and why I said I felt like you would be a good teacher is because of the way that you see music and the way that you compose it. It doesn't feel like it's the normal way when you sing. Do you see me going back to school soon? No. Sing a little something for us. I can't right now. Why can't you? And I do apologize. It's what? just one of those obstacles because I've been trying to be on vocal rest and make sure that I'm prepared. 
and that's why I took this risk and decided to call you and have a conversation about it. But you see, you're afraid. I was... What if I was a major music producer that could have given you a deal right now? I don't care if my throat cords were out of my body. I'd be singing. <laughs> right? Yes, ma'am. So you, it, you, you, you got it in you. There's a lot of soul. There's a lot of love. You're, you're letting this fear block you. She, she's another Charlotte. Charlotte, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Betty Holiday, too. Yeah. That's very interesting. Are you, up, are you picking up on anything else for me? Well, we would if we had more time, sweetheart, but our show yeah. literally is ending. So my, my recommendation is for you not to give up. Uh, but, but you know, if you're not going to fight, though, you, you know, then it's not going to work. I, but I do think you need a little more fight and a little less excuses about it. Okay. All right? All right. All right. Thank you for taking my call. Get out there. Go Come do on, it. Lacey. We're rooting Come on. for you. That's right. And don't have any Thank kids. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding Bye, about baby that. doll. Thanks. All right. Bye, hon. I said the whole kid thing. I'm like, is there a choice about having kids or is she oh. around a lot of kids? There we go. But then if it's saying that we're around a lot of kids, yeah. she's in. She's going to school. I know, I know. Whatever. I, she's not going to go to school. All right, listen, everybody. That is the end of our show. Thank you so much thank for you, tuning everyone. in. Thank you, Jennifer, thank you for being here, <laughs> being with us. Yes. Uh, get to the uh, Monday, Medium Monday, September 30th. Get in there. Go to jenniferschafer.com. Make sure you like her yes. Facebook page on Please. Instagram. Thank you. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go hang out now, and then I get to see you next weekend. Next weekend, absolutely. Can't get enough of her. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much, and lots of love Thank to you, you tonight. Bye, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Sometimes I feel like a star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this foot along this hall, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas.